Hello everybody, Internet Theory back again with another video. Uh, today's video, guys, is going to be about the preview that Cincinnati Most 2000 final that we have ahead of us tonight between Novak Djokovic and Milos Raonic. But before I get into that match, that final match, and my thoughts about that, I want to talk a little about the semifinals that we just saw uh, between Milos Raonic and Stefanos Tsitsipas. And then that brutal marathon match my god what a match we we saw between Novak Djokovic and RBA let's talk a little about the Milos Raonic and uh, Stefano Tsitsipas first semi-final Stefano uh, Milos Raonic once again proved me wrong uh, that uh, to predict uh, I predicted that Stefanos would defeat Milos, uh, which I did in Australian Open as well earlier this year. And two times now in a row, Milos has proved me wrong. Obviously, Milos Raonic knows how to handle Stefanos Tsitsipas. Obviously, Milos knows how to figure out Stefanos Tsitsipas. Stefanos has troubles to defeat Milos Raonic. That's that is an obvious thing now. In Australia Open, Stefanos didn't face any, didn't see any breakpoint opportunity against Milos. Straight sets victory for Milos Raonic in Australia Open. Not one single breakpoint opportunity could uh, Stefanos see in Australia Open. In today's match, in, in this semi final, he saw only one. Uh, and it was a big point, guys. It was not any an, uh, small point. It was a big, big point. It was a set point in the first set, which Milos saved. It was not. He, he didn't save with a ace. It was a play on the point, guys. It was a play on the point. But Milos was just was keep on coming around that forehand, coming around that forehand, coming around that forehand, and he won. It was a long point, actually, guys. But and Milos in the end won the point. Uh, so it was not like Milos saved himself from trouble with an ace like he does, like he has done many times during his career. So Milos is not only about serve. Of course, the serve is his huge weapon. We all know that. But he can play baseline te tennis as well. Not, of course, he can't play long rallies a la Djokovic, a la Murray, peak Murray, a la a la Medvedev or RBA, of course not, he's not a baseline grinder, but he has improved his baseline game, guys, he has improved, so he can hand, he can play some long, long rallies time to time, sometimes, not all the time, that is not his game, so he saved, he came out that, uh, that he escaped from that uh, point in that first set, because that was a huge point. And that we know that in tennis, guys, it is big points who decide the winner. If Stefanos would have won the first set, who knows what would have happened. It was not like Milos crushed Stefanos. It was not like that. He won the first set 7-6. And, and Stefanos had a mini break in the first in the tie break as well. But Milos came back in that in that situation as well, like he did when he saved the, that set point. Uh, and and then in the second set, uh, Milos break to oh, the Stefanos. It was only one break of serve. In the first set, they both held the serves, both Milos and Stefanos. Um, uh, in the second set, uh, Milos break once, and and and, and that uh, sealed the victory. That was that was the, uh, that was what it needed for Milos. He did. He doesn't need more, considering what kind of monster serve he has, uh, and. In the entire second set, Stefanos was not even close. He was not even close of breaking Milos' serve. He didn't. He didn't had one single break point opportunity in the second set, Stefanos. So uh, Milos is was he's furious with his serve. He won ninety percent of his first serves, guys. He, it, and it was not like he was serving tremendous first serves in. He served sixty percent of first serves in. Sixty percent. That is a decent number. That is a decent number, and he won ninety percent of his of his first serves. Ninety percent. Uh, so, uh, and in the second set, Milos won hundred percent, hundred percent of his first serves. That was even more impressive. In the total match, he won ninety percent of his first serves. In the second set, Milos won hundred hundred percent of his first serves. On the second serve. Uh, uh, department actually Stefanos was the better one he won 64% of his second serves 64 uh, and Milos won only 58 uh, but 
it is the it is with the first serve that Milos does the big damage, and it was not and this was not a uh, a crushing victory for Milos. Like I said, first set, M M Stefanos mo maybe deserved it more. To be to be quite honest, he had one set point, he had mini break in the in the tie break, he deserved it more. Uh, so that first set could, could have gone either way. The second set, uh, Milos was clearly a better player, at least a better server. He, because he did, Milos. Ha, Mi, look, guys, Milos has been serving superb the entire week. He has held, he has held 55 out of 57 service games. You know that the only player who has break his serve, and he and he has done it twice. It is Filip Krajnovic uh, in the quarterfinals, uh, and Filip Krajnovic almost defeated Milos. So. That is a testament for Philip Kroner that he's, that he's in the shape of his life. That's why if some of you wonders how could you have Philip in your top eight list in, in my US Open preview draw, there you have the answer. Philip Kranovich in his, his, it is in his shape of his life. Uh, so Philip Kranovich is the player who has come the closest to defeat Milos Kranovich and he's the only player who has break his serve. So Milos came through very deservedly, he is. He look. He's looking superior, guys. This this pandemic uh, break that we have had six months or what uh, 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 that has been. Uh, it has done good to Milos Raonic, guys. It has done good to Milos Raonic. He has trained. He, he. I read an interview with him. He said, "I have been training like hell for entire this pandemic." that we have had so and he's looking furious and these fast surfaces is is really suiting him even though he didn't do a tremendous many aces he did 12 aces against uh, uh, Stefanos so that is a okay uh, number he did more in the uh, in, in against Philip he did tw 24 against Philip but it's, it was a longer match it was a three set battle there uh, but uh, anyway m m he's looking good Milos he's looking in his shape of his life that's why I had him as my number third favorite in US Open draw preview as well uh, if some of you wonder uh, why I had him that, that high uh, he's looking good uh, but uh, Milos through and he will face Novak Djokovic in the final tonight. Novak Djokovic, who had a huge marathon match against RBA, which I predicted, I said it in my semi-finals preview, I said that RBA will give Novak Djokovic a hell of a match. He will give him a run for his money. RBA, he's, he, gives, he gives Novak Djokovic the same medicine what Novak Djokovic gives to everyone on the tour. He is not afraid of challenging Novak Djokovic from the baseline. He's not afraid of getting into long exchanges from the baseline. He's not afraid of... He has huge, huge shot tolerance, RBA. And if you want to have any kind of chance against Novak Djokovic, you have to make him confuse. You have to get into his skin. And RBA does that with long rallies. He doesn't surrender easy. He doesn't give up. He like I said, he has huge shot tolerance. He doesn't do a lot of unforced errors. He has solid ground strokes from the both wings, forehand and backhand. He runs it into every single point. He 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 is really really fast as well, and that's why we could see in some of the long rallies, uh, Novak. He looked tired. Novak. He 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 he. He looked confused, so he did a lot, a lot, a lot of drop shots, Novak Djokovic, especially with the backhand. Many of the drop shots, they failed, to be quite honest. Some of the drop shots, one or two, he succeeded, but many of the drop shots, they were too bad. And, and, and RBA is so fast that your drop shot needs to be really superb to win the point. If not, you will not win the point because of RBA is so damn fast. RBA won the first set 6-4. Uh, they uh, this this was a match with a lot of breaks. They break each other's serve six times each, guys. Uh, RBA won the first set 6-4, and Novak had he had some trouble with his neck. Uh, he, the the physio was on the court a couple of times, giving treated his neck. Uh, it, so, but Novak is a fighter. He's a warrior. He is a machine, guys. And what did I say in my semi-final preview? We want, if you want to beat Novak, if you want to have chances against Novak, defeat him in straight sets, 
put him away fast. Don't get into long, brutal match. Because if you get, get yourself into close battle, you 99% of the chances you will lose. He's a machine in close matches. He just... He just refused to lose, man. He refused to lose. And Novak, of course, came back in the second set. Won that second set 6-4. This was a, a roller coaster match, guys. RBA was up in the lead. Then Novak came back. Then RBA came back. And then Novak came back. It was like up and down. It was. This was not Novak's best match of the tournament. Novak has looked the superior so far in the tournament, guys. He, he has not dropped one single set. Uh, but in this match, it, it, he, he looked more human. But I'm not surprised. Why? Because the opponent makes him look, look more human. The opponent is not Tennis Sandgren. The opponent is an RBA. RBA is not an easy dude to just take away. Like I said, he, he will make you suffer on the, on the court. He will give you the same medicine what you give to him. RBA is a similar uh, tennis player, of, but of course worse, like Novak Djokovic. They play kind of similar. They don't like to go to the net so much. They like to. They don't. They don't. Uh, they like to go into long, long, uh, long exchanges. They they like to wear their opponents down. And RBA almost wears Novak Novak Djokovic down, like like Novak Djokovic wears the entire tour down. Uh, and RBA. Novak was up in the lead in the third, 5-2. RBA, he came back. Novak was serving for the match, did a horrible game when he was serving for the match. He gave the, the game totally away with a lot of forehand and first errors. Novak's forehand was bad in this match, really. And I've said it many times during my videos the, the on the last couple of years. When Novak Djokovic game breaks down, it is always the forehand who starts doing it. It is almost never the backhand. The backhand is always super solid. Even though that the backhand was not super sharp in this match either, but the forehand was worse. He was doing a lot of, lot of forehand errors in this match against RBA, really. Uh, and, and, and Novak himself said it after the match. He said that, I, did, I didn't deserve to win this match. He was the better player. Ah, I'm, I don't agree exactly what he says. Both of these two matches players deserve to win. I wouldn't... RBA deserved to win as much as Novak and Novak deserved to win as much as RBA. In the end, the better player, the most clutch player, the most consistent player, the most focused player, he won. And it was Novak Djokovic. And I'm not surprised when... Because RBA was serving for the match as well. He was serving for the match. First, Novak Djokovic was serving for the match. Then RBA was serving for the match. And when RBA... RBA actually was only two points away of winning this match. He was only two points away. And when the match got into a tiebreak, I knew. I knew. This, it is over. Man, Novak Djokovic. You know that he has won 19 of the past 20 tiebreaks? Novak Djokovic has won 19 of the past 20 tie breaks, guys. So, considering that, you and 10 tie breaks just this year. He has not lost one single tie break this year. He has played 10 tie breaks. He has won all of them. So, you don't want to get into a tie break with Novak Djokovic because if you do that, 90% of the chances that you will lose. You will lose, which RBA did in that third, in that uh, tie break in the third set. You know that when that tie break started, they had 103 point each. RBA had 103 point. Djokovic had 103 point. So, the match, of course, was even Steven until the end. But when the tie break won, Novak just ran away with the time tiebreak seven love and took and won in the end 110 point and RBA stayed with 103. So, so Novak in the end won seven more points than RBA. But until that tiebreak, the match was dead even 103 point one each. But like I said, Novak Djokovic is a tiebreak king. Just ask Roger Federer what Novak did to get against Roger Federer in that in that last Wimbledon final. Three tiebreaks. Novak won all of them. So in the end, Novak Djokovic, after three marathon tennis, three hours the match took, and in uh, after three hours, Novak Djokovic went through to his uh, to the final in Cincinnati, and he will play. For to win his 35 most of thousand title and equal Rafael Nadal's record, and he will try to win 
all the masters second time for the second time because he has won all the others at least two times but he has never won Cincinnati two times that's so if he, if he wins the final it, this will be a huge victory in my opinion to win all the masters second time none of it to win all all the masters to win all the masters only one time is really difficult I think that Novak is the only one who has done it uh I know that for sure Nadal and Federer has never done it, but Novak has done it, so he can do it now twice. So that would be murderous impressive, in my opinion. And now we will face Milos Raonic. Another Milos Raonic, who is on his shape of his life, probably, in my opinion. Uh, Milos Raonic has had so much, has, has, has had some bad luck during his career. He has had so many injuries. I think that only last year he missed. 10 tournaments because of injury but this pandemic pause has helped him to regroup to train to give his body uh, time to recover and he looks prepared he looks dedicated he looks he looks focused his serve is as good as it ever as it ever ever been his forehand is look is looking murderous good his backhand has never been murderous good but it is it is. It looks solid. It it looks okay. And on the net, he's good. He moves pretty good to be that tall. Uh, not super good, but he mo he moves okay in my opinion. But now we'll face Novak Djokovic, who is who has a murderous head-to-head -head stat against him. Ten love to Novak Djokovic on the head-to-head. -head. So I believe that Milos wanted to face more RBA, who has because Milos has a five love head-to-head. Uh, 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 victories against RBA, but against, against Novak, he has never defeated Novak. And eight of these victories that Novak has won has been straight sets victory. So, uh, and uh, this will be no Milos fourth Master Thousand final. He has lost three, all of them before three. Now it will be fourth. Last time he played the Master Thousand final, it was in 2016 Paris, and he lost to the guy that he will face in tonight's final, Novak Djokovic. Uh, so it will not be an easy task for Milos Raonic, to say the least. And so, one of the describers said to me that, man, Inter, me, uh, Novak Djokovic, he, he he has lost to big servers in the past. I never said he has never lost to big servers. I only said that he loves more to face big servers than he loves to face grinders. For God's sakes, that's what, what I said. If you look at the head to head, look at the head to head for God's sakes. How 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 how, how does the stat look? He has a 10-0 against Milos Raonic, who's a big server. He has 9-2 against Sam Query, who has who is a big server. He has 10-2 against jo against John Isner, who is a big server. He has 9-2 against Kevin Anderson, who is a big server. What does what does that say to you guys? Does, does Novak Djokovic has murderous hard times against big servers? Of course, he has lost one match here and there. I know that he has lost two matches against Nick Kyrgios. He has never defeated Nick Kyrgios, uh, Novak Djokovic. And he has lost two matches against Ivo Karlovic, Novak Djokovic. It is Ivo, Ivo, Ivo Karlovic and Nick Kyrgios is one of big servers who has... A, Positive head to head against Novak Djokovic. Nick Kyrgios, I believe, has 2 0 head to head stat, stat against Novak Djokovic. Novak has never defeated Nick Kyrgios. And Kralovic actually has a 2 1 lead against Novak Djokovic in the head to head. But, but in general, Novak Djokovic has easier times against big servers than, than what he has against the grinders. A la Medvedev, a la Murray. He, look at RBA, what RBA did to him. You think that Milos Raonic will play three hours match against uh, Novak Djokovic? No, he will not. Even if Milos wins, he will not. It will not take three hours for Milos to defeat Novak Djokovic. It will not do it. But anyway, uh, what do I believe about the final? I think that Novak Djokovic is the favorite in this final. But is it not? Is it time? When is it time for Milos to get that first victory? Is it now or never? Is it now or never? That three hours marathon match will affect Novak because Novak Djokovic after all he's human too man he's human too he will be tired and maybe his, his neck is not looking 100% healthy he like I said he had the physios a couple of times in this semi-final match so it is now or never Milos it is now or never my friend um, 
but I got I can't go against Novak Djokovic even though that he barely defeated RBA even though that it had, it took him three hours to do it even though that he will show some sh some signs that he will be tired but. It will be a different match. It will not be long, brutal rallies in this final. Milos Raonic is not RBA. He will try to end the point as fast as possible. Uh, Milos Raonic will need to have a high percent of first serves in. I don't know if 60% landing first serves like it was against Stefanos will be enough against Novak because Novak is the greatest server of all time. Novak will take those. He will take his teeth into Milos second servers more than what Stefanos, because Stefanos is not even as close as a good of returner as Novak Djokovic is. Uh, and Novak Djokovic, he, he will not have many hours to recover. I know that, but like I said, the, this match will be different from the RBA match. The Laurelis will be shorter. He will not be as tired in this final like he was in the semifinal because RBA, RBA made Novak suffer. Uh, or, Araunic will not make Novak suffer in the same way. He, it will be a shorter point. Uh, so, uh, uh, Novak Djokovic is the favorite to me. He, I think he, I think he will win his 35 Moscow 1000 title. That is what I feel. That is what, is what I believe. But, if, but uh, I will not give Novak Djok I will not give Milos Raonic no chance. Absolutely not. If I will give Novak Djokovic sixty percent chances to win um, to win the final and forty percent chances to Milos Raonic, because is it somewhere? Is it sometime Milos Raonic to get that first ever victory against Novak Djokovic? Is it now? Is it here? The moment is now when Novak Djokovic has played a three hours marathon match when Novak Djokovic has pain in his neck. So I wouldn't be surprised at all whatsoever if Milos Raonic gets his first ever victory. And to be quite honest, guys, I hope he gets it because I'm not a Novak Djokovic fan. I am not. So it will be fun for tennis for Milos to win his biggest title in his career. Like I said, he has played three Master 1000 finals before, lost all of them. It will be his fourth. Uh, he has had so many injuries during his career. He really deserves this. He really deserves this. He has been looking super the entire week. His, his serve has been so impeccable in the entire week. Like I said, he has dropped serve only twice against the same opponent, Filip Kraunovic. It will be fun for tennis. It will be fun for Milos. It will be really fun. But I can't go against Novak Djokovic. Novak Djokovic will not give this victory away to him. Novak Djokovic, he wants to win that 35,000 Monster 1000 title and equal Rafael Nadal's record. He wants to win all the Masters twice and to, to have this huge, huge achievement in his career, this legacy. He's chasing history, both in Masters, both in Grand Slams. He, he is a warrior. He is a champion. He is a... Uh, he is a machine, and if no, and if Raonic wants to beat Novak, better for him to do it in straight sets. Better to do it, uh, not to take them sets in tie breaks. Even though that Raonic is a, a really great tiebreaker as well, of obvious, of obvious, obvious reasons because of his huge serve. But he's facing the tiebreak king, man. The tiebreak king. Like I said, he has won 19 of his past tiebreaks. 10 tiebreaks only this year, not lost anyone, one single tiebreak this year. And Novak Djokovic is undefeated this year, in this strange year. He has won 22 matches. I know he's lost one against Filip Kranovic in an exhibition tournament, but I don't count that as a tour. That, 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 that doesn't count. When it comes to competition matches, Novak Djokovic has not lost one single match this year, guys. One single match. Will Novak, will Milos Djokovic give his first, uh, loss in 2020? Will he do it? Man, to be quite honest, I hope he does it. I hope he does it. It will be fun for tennis. But do I believe he will do it? <laughs> no. But I wouldn't be surprised if he does it because it's now or never. It is now or never, Milos. Novak Djokovic, he doesn't look he didn't look impossible against RBA, but RBA is a damn good player. So th that was not that was not a surprise surprise. That was expected. Novak Djokovic has played three hours marathon match against RBA. Novak Djokovic has pain on his neck. It is now or never, Milos. It is now or never. And M Milos is looking superior with his forehand, with his serve. He's looking good. He's looking healthy. He's looking fast. His backhand has improved. His movements has improved. He's 
that Novak Djokovic is man. He's hard to defeat. He's hard to defeat. He doesn't give up. He he's difficult. He's champion. He's a warrior. He's a machine. He's so clutch in big moments when big points arise, set points, match point, break point. He will. 90% of those points he will win them because he's so damn clutch he's so damn focused he's so damn de dedicated so I believe that Novak will lift his 35 miles a thousand title in tonight's final uh, but I hope that I'm wrong it will be really fun for tennis if Milos won his first ever miles a thousand title alright guys I hope you enjoyed this video take care and bye bye